Welcome, thanks for watching this video. My name is Felix Haller, and I'm gonna share in this video my three lessons learned from working at Bain & Company for five years. Bain & Company is one of the top global management consulting companies, similar to BCG or McKinsey. And I spent two years at Bain in Germany and the last three years in the US. And since I just recently left Bain as a manager, I wanna share with you my personal learnings and reflect a little bit on what I gained from that experience and what can I now apply throughout my career, or at least for the next couple of years. And I hope that is also helpful for you. And if you find this video helpful, please let me know in the comment section or hit the like button, however you wanna engage with me. The first big benefit I gained from working at Bain & Company for five years is a can-do mindset or the ability to learn. In a lot of jobs and also in school, at college, a lot of the tasks are fairly straightforward. 80% of the things you need to do are already laid out. There's a timetable. These are the five things you need to do every day in more operational roles. A lot of business situations and especially higher paid positions, the situations you need to deal with are complex, they're ambiguous. You don't always know exactly what's happening and you don't know exactly what you specifically need to do, what the right approach is. This ability to deal with different situations, with ambiguous situations, is extremely valuable throughout your career. In management consulting and in my experience, you get put on new projects every couple months. And the project could be totally different, totally different industry, totally different function. And so in the beginning, you might not know a lot about the situation. So every time you need to learn it again. And a lot of the projects and the challenges are really tough challenges. You might not know how to do it and even your manager or some of the partners might not be full experts in it. So everybody needs to really work through it and learn quickly in how to deal with that problem. And so this constant cycle of getting put into situations where you don't know how to deal with it, learning, how to deal with it and, and achieving good results. Doing that over and over again, I think is a, is a incredible learning cycle. And that leads to over time, you being confident in your ability to deal with new situations. Another example that I think is really helpful in consulting, usually when you're really good at your job, you typically get promoted. So once you fully nail the skill set of a level, you would get promoted to the next level. So then you have to learn it again. So you're always on your toes. You're never fully comfortable in the situation. And I think that's a great recipe for continuous learning. And that also helps you to gain the confidence and the ability to deal with new situations in a effective way. The next big learning from my five-year experience at Bain & Company is the problem solving approach and data obsessiveness. This is probably the most tangible and traditional benefit from consulting, like the consulting toolkit, the ability to problem solve. And it starts with being very hypothesis driven, starting with an answer first, your hypothesis of what you think the right message is or the right, the right recommendation, and then figuring out whether your hypothesis are true or not as opposed to looking at everything and then figuring out what to do. So you start with a hypothesis and you're trying to find data or other evidence to prove or disprove your hypothesis. And then the next step I think is crucial, the data obsessiveness. Unless you're the CEO or a very senior person in the business world, your opinions don't really matter. And even though consulting companies, especially some of the top ones, have an incredible brand, they can't just say, hey, you should enter this market because the margins are high and then not prove or provide evidence that the margins are actually high. So there's an incredible obsessiveness to always find data to confirm your messages, to prove your recommendation. And so for instance, if you say the market is growing, there isn't a lot of competition, we should enter that market, you want to optimally find a external research report that proves your point that the market is probably expected to grow in the future and that there aren't a lot of competitors in that in that market. 
learning how to collect data from external market resources, but also collecting primary data, like fielding a customer survey, and then analyzing the data, looking at errors, making sure that the data is, is clear and clean, and then gaining critical insights. This is super important because it's not just about collecting a bunch of data. The insights are what really matters, especially thinking about how there's so much data around nowadays and that the key is to understanding the data and generating insights out of it. In addition to the approach, I also learned the technical skill set of using Excel, Tableau and other tools to be quick with data, analyzing data. And I think that's important, but I don't think it's as important also thinking about that the tools are constantly changing and that it's more about having the right mindset, the right approach and knowing how to get to the answer than knowing exactly how to do it in Excel, which, which formula to, to look up, etc. And the last benefit from my experience at Bain Company are the people skills and communication skills. While it's important to figure out the right solution, the right answer to a problem, to the client situation, it's as important to get people to change, to implement the solution, to execute. And for that piece, you need to communicate it. You need to persuade people. And that is really important and usually harder because there have been a lot of situations where the clients or the business people already knew roughly what the solution was, but they needed help in communicating it throughout the organization, disseminating the information and convincing people to act. Because change is always hard and a lot of times people don't want to change at all. And I learned from this experience the ability to feel comfortable in a lot of co different communication situations, be it a presentation, be it a workshop, be it more executive level or operational clients. And this ability of adjusting your communication style to the right audience, to the right setting is really powerful when you try to affect change in an organization where you have to optimally or where you have to typically work with a lot of different people. And so I did hundreds of, of operational meetings, workshop sessions, where you identify, um, brainstorm stuff, prioritize it, narrow it down, um, presentation creation, all that kind of stuff helps you to communicate and persuade people to, to change and to do something. And as part of this communication and people skills, I learned how to lead people and to lead a project team. My caveat would be that it's easier to lead people in a consulting setting because most of the people I worked with were young and ambitious, energetic people that would step up to the plate, that wouldn't let you down. A lot of times you would give them something, I would give them a task and they would come back with something even stronger than what I had suggested. And so working with smart, talented people just makes it overall way easier. And so I think it's not fully comparable to, a, to leading people, leading teams in a corporate setting. These were my personal learnings from my experience at Bain & Company. I talked about how important that can-do mindset is and the ability to learn quickly. I talked about the problem-solving approach and data obsessiveness. And lastly, the people skills and communication. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you to get some inspiration and learning out of this. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section or with the like button. Thanks a lot for watching.